We're back with the lightning project here. Things are all torn down, parts are cleaned up, and ready for um, reassembly here. And I have my passenger side valve cover here. And uh, part of the reason I took the valve covers off was obviously because they were leaking, but also was because I want to change how this PCV system works. I got a different catch can. I had a JLT. The JLT unit really isn't bad, um, but it's, it's a little small, first of all, and my truck fills them up pretty quick. And then also like this is one of the grommets for the this was the uh, driver's side and it just deteriorated and i don't know if it's the e85 that's eating it all up you know you, you basically have um e85 dilutes your oil a little bit so um, that could have been the problem or hard to say exactly but it just isn't as heavy a duty as a, of a kit as i was looking for so this is the catch can that i bought to replace that jlt obviously it's bigger and a little heavier duty so what I did is I got with Timothy White of Hose Hustler, and so uh, this is not a sponsored video or anything. I bought these fittings all for full price, but I try and support the Lightning guys when possible. And here is a, uh, a fitting that he sent me, and this is specifically made to fit with this valve cover. So it has kind of this flared, kind of a almost like a barb that fits right in. So you just basically just shove it in there. And that's how it turns out, which looks really nice and obviously will be easier to connect than having a goofy PCV system and barb fittings and stuff like that. The AN stuff is turns out really nice, I think. So this valve cover is finished and now we can work on the other one quick. For the driver's side valve cover, it has this little molded um, plastic barb right here that fits into the, into the valve cover. And that's like almost, I don't know if it's like melted in or glued in, but this is like all like hard, hard plastic. So what I'm gonna do is cut this off flush and then thread it so that it can accept this uh, pipe thread side to AN side uh, adapter. And that'll, that'll go in there and sit flush down just like the other one. Okay, well I got this all cleaned up. Now I need to drill and tap this for um, this pipe thread and obviously this isn't going to start so I need a larger bit. I need the drill bit that fits this pipe tap. Alright so the pre-drill for this tap 3 8 by 18 NPT is actually 37 64 but all I could find was 9 16 it's real close so I'm going to use this and see how we turn out. Got nice threads cut in this now use this tap just in and out multiple times and then actually this portion of the I guess fitting broke off inside there so I had to get underneath here get underneath here and fish it out of this little hole right here there's a little slot that you can try and pull it out of so anyway now that that's done uh, I got just a little bit of thread sealant regular stuff and uh, I'm going to put that fitting in there Alright, so there it is. We got that fitting run down. Nice and flush. Looks really good. And uh, now I can work on the valve cover gaskets. Here's the valve cover gasket that I got. It's VS50275. And uh, pretty basic stuff. Um, they are different one side to the other, so just match up the holes and get it right. So I'm going to get it uh, all spaced and placed into this valve cover. Here are the bolts uh, that hold the valve cover down and then these are the little uh, grommets I guess you'd call them that sit underneath them they're normally installed right on here but I peeled them all off because I got some new ones Molly uh, beat 32039 and here they are and these weren't really any problem but they're 20 something years old and anything that's rubber that's that old is kind of probably showing its age so we're gonna retire these and go with new ones get these things installed
all these screws are put in and you can see they they poke through just just enough there they kind of hold themselves into the valve cover gasket if they fall out flipped over like this they're not quite in right so get those all sitting and now we can put it on the truck before you put the valve cover on you want to take a dab of silicone RTV and go right here and on the bottom too same place where the timing cover meets the cylinder head All right, the valve cover is put on here and everything looks good. I tightened all the valve cover bolts down to uh, 89 inch pounds. I got my second valve cover on here. Everything looks good. There's where I'm gonna attach. And there's the other one. And of course I laid the harness back kind of where it is, plugged, some few, plugged a few things in. So that's probably all I'm gonna do with the catch can system for now. Um, I'm gonna actually plumb these up later uh, when I actually know where the catch can's gonna go but that's enough to get these valve covers on here. Okay, so first I installed this bracket. It goes down and bolts down. There's two bolts on the side, and now I'll put the reservoir onto the bracket.